In today's Tail Feathers Quick Flight, we man the scenario we discussed on the last two videos, Fly Away Home. We have the Vermin Raiders and the Downwind Militia set up on the eastern tree spaces and Meeps located on the western edge of the battlefield. Let's take a quick look at our starting setups. Wella and Sienna took off like a rocket, moving four spaces, ending up north of the sapling in attempts to reach Meeps first. Grizzard and Snag were also making a full force run as well, coming up from the south side of the sapling. Runk and Chumjaw came in towards the southern side of the sapling. Zur and Blue Jay and Snimble and Starling also came in to engage right away. Stabra cut her leaf and began floating towards my home tree, and I sent oak guards to the furthest branches in preparation and even getting in a few attacks. Lily had joined some oak guard in a patrol mission and attempts to start whittling away at Runk and Chumjaw by the Vermin Raiders' established position on the sapling. A tight, action-packed opening. As we moved into the final phase, we realized how slow Meep's movement actually was, and how crucial Tailhold would become to both of our card selections. As we entered the leaf flicking phase, Meep's received some unwelcome pushback, while several pilots became rattled in the windy conditions. With some overcommitment from the Vermin Raiders, and while they were in key position to make attacks on the downward birds, it wasn't able to overcome several turns of continuous patrol missions by the mice who eventually brought down Runk and Chumjaw, but not before getting in a death spiral with Snibble and Starling, resulting in two wounds on an already rattled Snibble. Conveniently, the turnaround from the death spiral allowed Snibble to refocus on making a swoop attack on Stabra, who had recently made her way to my home tree, and quickly cut down one of my oak guard. Wella and Sienna, by the skin of her beak, barely missed the tree trunk, as she bent around the north side of the sapling, making a swoop attack, taking out two of Snag's commandos. More leaf flicking continued to pressure the birds, spinning their tail hold and even positioning them in front of Grizzard and Snag to ensure a rattled pilot on the next movement. Even still, it wasn't long before Grizzard and Snag were able to line up for the first blow on Meeps. Three damage. Meeps wasn't getting an advantage on the battlefield, so it was time to take out my Oak Guard from mission to attack. They seized the tree right behind where Grizzard and Snag had perched, soon after the first blow. While the Oak Guards were able to do a little damage, it wasn't enough to prevent Grizzard and Snag from getting in their next attack. This landed four more wounds on Meeps. Zura managed to pull off some maneuvering to initiate another death spiral. I was able to get a wound in and turn around Grizzard and Snag, sending them the wrong way. From that point on, all of my birds began to form up and mostly block Meeps from attack. In the process, Jerry was able to bring back some vermin raiders, rescue Runk and Chumjaw, and siege my home tree as we made our way home. As much as we tried to fend off the attack, even getting a leaf close to blocking all line of sight to Meeps, it wasn't enough for a few unruly vermin raiders to lay the final range shots on Meeps just to turn away from safety. We hope you guys enjoyed the last few videos, from building a scenario to selecting our cards for it, and a little bit of the gameplay behind it. You'll be able to download this scenario, Fly Away Home, from PlatHatGames.com very soon and add it to your scenarios. There are a few other downloadable scenarios on the website, so check those out. And again, if you have any comments, please leave them below and we'll be sure to answer them as soon as we can. Until next time.